is coming up. <laughs> and uh, the new opponent is uh, Numudan, and we might be in for a long one. Okay. It's hideout. Oh, no, no, but hold on, I have, I have some important information. What information? Feasty cutie. Okay, let's go over the drafts quickly. Uh -huh. What was the map? Hideout? Okay, so yes. Rus on both sides, man, makes sense. China, both sides make sense. English versus Alice, it poggers. Now let's get to the real stuff. I have some leaks I want to show you. Watch my stream. <laughs> and Marine Lord responds. <laughs> wow. The games are heating up. The games are heating up. We got Marino just loves getting his ass eaten. I mean, bro, we're getting. He's getting excited. Some people are getting death threats. We're getting ass threats. It's getting <laughs> serious around here. I'm telling you, everything is on the line. Um, game number three from Yao. Ten for Tim with the five gifted. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it again. Thank you so much for joining. What a guy. What a guy, what a caster. Guys, E65. Like, Tim is, Tim is a Chad. We six always five, say that. 65 centimeters? No. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> when, I, when I see this map... Wait, I why do you say already. that? How tall is he? No, I always say Tim has a 6'5 personality. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. See... All right. Alex, yeah. Do, you, do you see the little dick on the right side of the minimap in the middle? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, no. We'll call it Irby's... Timmy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not referencing, Tim, uh, uh, you know, Tim, 10 I'm for Tim's goodness. size. No. I'm just, it's a, I'm Timmy is a good name. No, Tim, I'm not part of this. What? I support my best friend, 10 for Tim. <laughs> What? No, yeah. I'm not saying any reference to the human life size. Although, I mean, that's pretty massive. Like, that's a tree line worth of, like, throbbing wood line, right? So, but I'm not saying anything to that. I'm just saying Timmy is a good name. That's all. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. All right, I'm back. All right, so Beastie, uh, you set the pace of the game for us, brother. That's what are right. we going to be expecting from Mr. Cat? If Numidan has a game good. under 30 minutes, we're going to actually check his computer if that's actually him playing. This game could potentially go up to one hour. No, no joke. Potentially up to Especially two with hours. English. No, no, no. It, just it seems to have access. nothing to do with it. No, it's just Numidan based on... <laughs> I can already yeah. see Numudan making a wall from Timmy to the wood line, and then a wall from... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if someone chops through, the ti through Timmy? That'd be a destruction. Imagine if someone came here and it's old patch and he could like chop through the tip. There's tip for Tim! <laughs> Oh my god, that's a good one. Tip for Tim, come on, Rick, are you not cackling? Oh sure. no, I can't, I can't. It's stupid. I just want to make I fun don't. of Tim the whole time. I don't. My heart is in my co caster for all the women's tournaments. I can't, I can't condone this. No, it's. Listen. Yeah? That's not how it goes. Oh no. Guys, Cat is going trade wing. Guys, this is going to be a very Yo, long game. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And you know what? You know what I'm going to do, Core? I'm nope. about to do something that I haven't done in a while. I yeah. am promoting, I am demoting Killardi first as the wild guy. And I am officially, with your permission, Core, of course, promoting Cat to. He's wild, dude. He is... I mean, is he that wild? I mean, last game for sure, but... Uh, he the, is, I think. Yeah, I mean, Cat is good, good place, for sure. It's a, uh, is that a yes? Yes, but okay. Kiliadi is still Mr. Wild himself. He is wild, but he might be second place wild now. I think Cat no. might be... No, Cat, I think, overtook him. 
unless you can beat Cat, then you know. Uh, Numidon going for that second TC. I mean, are we getting a divine English game right here, or is that? Yeah, no, we're yeah. getting the, the Numidon treatment. Okay, so he wants to take the game nice and slow. He wants to win the money nice and slow. A man who knows how to build his English villagers, a know how man who knows how that, that knows how to build his TCs, and a man that probably knows how to speak English better than I do. Yeah. For that last minutes. Normal yeah. player sees a trade wing and he's like, yo, you want to trade, bitch? Makes a stable, you know, horseman, <clears throat> longbow. Nubudan sees trade wing and he fucking let's takes his TC. belt, he buckles in, he's like, yo, let's go treat this. <laughs> Dude, look okay. how cool Timmy looks with Nubudan view. It's a little bit blacked out. <laughs> Black okay, Cord, that's enough, Cord, that's enough. That's enough right now. That's enough. Enough about Timmy. Um, we do see the scout doesn't even know. Literally, he doesn't know about the trade wing. I mean, he's gonna have a king, right? Right, but he doesn't know. So what is his reaction? And also, he has a king, keg double, it's not even done. And okay, the best part is the stable opening as well from Mr. Cat. He's purring right now. And Archer is, ooh, he's gonna be aggressive, isn't he? The man is cooking. Why is he making so many production buildings? Is he just gonna go for it? Um, he sees well, the second DC and he's like, hey, I joined that. He's gonna make a camel and a horseman. For yeah, the, he for wants the to defend the, the harassment that usually comes his way. But what I'm surprised is that he has not uh, upgraded Grand Bazaar and also hasn't made a market, which is a bit weird, right? 15 gold at a time. Because <laughs> he ain't getting ahead with uh, this kind of gameplay, right? Like, does he? He's aware, right? Well, he's aware now. Second TC is on the way. Dude, Numura is gonna fire up another TC. No, he's just gonna go White Tower into. Uh, you think so? Good nights, yeah. Huh? I mean, th that is that's a good move. That's the one thing that can shut down this trade as well. And I don't think Cat is gonna be able to defend that constantly, at least. But he is making another camel as. Oh no, that's the first one. Never mind. I thought that was the second camel. The man's cooking. Now, guys, why do we make a camel with our horses against this king boy? To debuff him. Because they look cool. nice. Oh. It's the camel on ease. Minus 20% damage, I think. Wow, that's yeah, actually the yeah, name. Brother. Wait, did you read that? No, I know the game. You that's know why I the coaching. name of this? Yes, sir. I know, like, basically every name. Do you go, like, when you coach, do you go, like, um, yeah, you want to have one camel because you want to have camel unease, which actually, and then you push up your glasses. You no. say, actually, actually, it debuffs the enemy really calorie to 20%. Debuff. Right. Can we do that or? No. Um, <clears throat> we got Double a villager. market. I wonder why there's two villagers. Just to make sure this thing does go up, but he realizes I ooh, double, double the market. market. <gasps> I think no, no, no joke. Boy. You go triple market here, yeah. Like no joke. Oh my gosh. The Abbasid traders are so ass deep. Yeah, like 40, 40, I think. I don't think I, I actually don't think it's gonna be a long game, and this is not good for Numeran, by the way, at all. This is actually really, really bad, and uh, I'm a bit surprised that he's just letting it happen. The trade is 40 40, right? The yeah, it's 40 40. And it yes. gives Ooh. secondary resource. Like, this ain't the, the booming game you're gonna win. I mean, if he has tr three markets trading, he's out boom him so hard. Yeah, it's not even gonna be close. Like, I think Cat might kill him in like five minutes with just like 20 knights. Just spamming. I mean, five minutes is a. Rough okay, Kor, go ahead, tell me Actually, how Actually, I think he needs one minute and 45 seconds to go to the next age, and so far he's a bit far away to reach the point where he can age up, you know, actually. Okay, thank you, Kor. I, I was wrong. Oh, he's gonna wall around Timmy. Uh, he's gonna use <laughs> Timmy to his advantage, and uh, he's gonna wall from the bottom to the tip, and then onwards, just <laughs> fully closing that wall uh, right there. The top side is getting walled too. So, love that gameplay. And... Look at that. Look at how many he's making already. I mean, Kev is just gonna defend with camels until he's a uh, castle age. 
I mean, Numudan will hit Castle H first, right? But then Cat is just gonna spam camels, make another layer of vaults, and that's gonna be it. Dude, this is crazy that he's actually not going for this. Bro, Cat is even walling off the relic, like, just for his, you know, fuck you. Yeah. He might lose some villagers, he's sending back the camels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, two villagers, actually. He's yeah. gonna do a little micro back and forth. Oh. No. No, he's not. He's I don't know why he sent back his units. That makes no sense at all. He was looking like he wants to go all around. Villages. Free! Boom. That's dead. Yeah. What? Boom! White power. 18. Oof, that's gonna be a fast stage up. I'm surprised he's going with that many. Yes, he yeah, he has it. like no resources in the bank as soon as he has it. But he does have enough to push out that first knight, and I guess that's why he's doing it. Just to make sure that he has a pretty solid castle age unit to go pump those traitors. Because, yeah, the problem man. is, like, he needs a lot of units to break the wall, right? Yeah, this, this is so over. And Cat can just already. pull more villagers make a second layer of walls. Like, th I think this game is already over. He yeah. has no long boss to stop the repair. Like, and... Cat needs to giga throw this already. Like, th this is why when you see trade, you immediately have to abandon whatever the fuck you're doing and attack it. Especially Avacid trade. It's literally the best trade in the game. I like, think. he's up to 17 traders. That's trade. He's Look aging up now. He just buy some food. Look at this. Yeah, he's aging up right now. Oh. Like, yeah, this game is so... What? It's not even close. Why eco? I don't know. Because he knows Numbadan is passive. He doesn't need to go for military. And he's going... For... Is he going for another TC? Or is he going for a keep? No, he would probably be going for a keep because he plops down that mining camp right next to the... Ooh, hello, boys. Not really sure what they want to do. Okay, he's lost three villagers to a king. That's pretty good oh, for two. him. Actually. Okay. Oh! Did you <laughs> oh know that, God. by the way? That that's how the wall what? works? You know, it's because he's connected to the wall. If he cancels this, you can't pass through it anymore. That is... Uh... No joke, that's how it works. It opens it up. Because it makes a palisade, you see there? Yeah. I've and palisades are passable. So okay, I mean... Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, cat... Eco is, like, insane. Bro, look, like... What's funny is, he, you don't even need to mine down. stone with this. You can just buy stone walls and just stonewall immediately. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a rule on not stonewalling in Feudal Age, right? Oh, he needs to cancel this! He cancelled the thing, but he didn't cancel this. Oh, yeah. Man, Cat! Cat! Cancel it! And that's the throw you guys are talking about, right? Cancel it! Well, that is a... Um, that is the big throw we were talking about, indeed. Cancel it! I, I think he's fine. I think and he's fine, but he's causing unneeded trouble, right? I mean, okay, and there's a lot of knights now. I don't know if he's yeah. fine, but... He's camel oh, getting those camel riders, and that might actually uh, the knights at ease. Okay, <laughs> look, he, look, he just cancelled, see? And it's back to me. Okay, it's so really how many weird. knights are in? Four or five? <laughs> Four knights and a king. So he had three, two villagers killed, right? No, three villagers killed. So everything else is a traitor. Yes. I mean, these camera riders gonna fix it, but it's annoying. He should get uh, the, that... the traitor's armor immediately, like the plus eight, five. Okay, this would be perfect. very demotivating because Trade this is not a feature. Oh, armor color. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, he didn't need this wall. Like, who who cares if he gets a relic, you know? Like, you got full trade. Fuck it. Ah, this is... It might even be worth it to get the double... Oh, no, and just a tiny wall causing this much of a... of a throw is I mean, insane. It's not a throw. It's annoying for sure, but I think he's still... Easy, though? It doesn't yeah. feel like it. You... Oh, and he's like, going for, now he's going for a second TC. I think that is a That is a throw. Yeah. You don't need, you just make camels, man. Or, yeah, just make fucking this, traders yeah. and camels. Like, you don't need to overboom. Like, just make it, if you want to have more eco, make another market, but not a TC. Yeah. Because market is better anyway, so, okay. Yeah. 
The knights are going to be able to uh, be debuffed by these camels, but they're not doing enough damage to take Certainly them down the just yet. They're getting destroyed. Yeah, they're getting fucking... I can't believe he's fighting. They forget about the unease? Oh my goodness, no, they are going down. destroy the knights. I mean, they do way too much. They do 28 Apparently. Apparently Numadon just decides I'm just gonna give the game back to him. There was a tiny bug. Let me just throw give you all my knights. That's great. The thing is you don't see camel riders like ever. So maybe he's like, I'll just you know, I'll just take the fight kind of thing, but <clears throat> like, the thing is Numadon is wasting army into camel into traders, right? So he's basically like giving his units to kill traders. But Cat has still like 30 traders and his army is gonna get bigger and bigger. So Yeah, the the problem with trade is in this case, compared to like normal, like if you kill villagers and you lose the army, like you're getting ahead, right? Because the economy is kind of planking pretty hard. But with traders, like look how many he's killed, right? And he has 29 traders. And the problem is, Numbuda's army is staying the same, and Cat's army is getting bigger and bigger. And the trade yeah, and is not really slowing down. Just look how much eco Numbuda killed, and they're still even in eco. So, and traders are better. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And now Cat even has a second TC, right? So. Yeah, this is. Um, I mean, he needs to re roll this somehow. He's sending Destroying one village. <laughs> I think he lost like five villagers here. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, he's running. Look at him. He's like, oh shit. Just tap it. Stone wall on the bottom? Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is super Jover. Super Jover. Whoa, 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 brother! Not today. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ay, 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 cat. Le cat. He's Spearman. Fine. He's fine. Giving him the game. Oh, look at that beautiful little relic going home. And finally, the camel riders do come out, trying to get the wall back up. But the villagers is the villagers pull and he will be able to put that wall down but there are knights at the trade route the problem is the moment the knights kill something another one pops out so there's just almost no way to get back wow. the economy that you're losing into Look this 27 he's killed probably 22 23 traders and they're still even yeah but now the storm was up like now it's just straight up over you know what he needs actually? He needs blacksmith to get the um, the upgrade. What is it called? Core, you should know that you're the best coach in the world. Go ahead. What upgrade are you talking about? For the blacksmith camel upgrade? speed. The camel speed, you I don't think you can have that in the castle, do you? Yeah you can. But you're a coach, you didn't know that? I mean you get fifteen percent movement speed, but I think you gotta it's drop fifteen percent price on your coaching, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's in Imperial, isn't it? Is it? Apparently it's in feudal. The armor is in imp? That's not true. No, the, you get three melee armor. That's he got possible. melee armor. Oh, you mean this? Wait, this has two upgrades? Yeah, but what? that's the movement speed. Since when? That's Things crazy. Well. Really? But I think that got changed at some point. I think that was the that was the 700 gold upgrade at some point. I think. I mean, who makes camel right? Let's get real over here. Oh, there it is, Core. Boom. Handling, camel handling. Damn, you didn't even know the name. Come on. No, I did not actually. It's crazy. Thirty-seven traders. I mean, Cat is just so good at the game, what can I say? Dude, Cat is making... going on a three win streak. Cat is making bank out of me. Farming me in tournaments, farming my tournament. What the heck? What's the next? Damn. Yo, we're sending the secret weapon after this one. Core is going ahead to play against Cat if he wins. But <clears throat> I can pick the Sif for Cat. I don't think it matters. I feel like Numidon is cooking cat. Oh, Imperial though. I just. I, with that amount of resources, he's just floating. He's constantly producing. This game is over. Uh, Dude, look at Numidon. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking stop this game, bro. Let's get no time. 
I mean, poor. We said a so few times this game is over for some games, and they didn't. They were not over. But this one is over. This one is over. Un uh, unless Ber Berkshire is on the trade line, maybe. Yeah. Chop right through the wood into the middle. Put a Berkshire there. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You uh, should just chop through him. This landmark snipe him. Easy clap. <laughs> Boom. Marika, have you ever done, done Abbas trade? I have, yes. And? And I was making villages only uh, to diamonds, and I did do very successfully with my trade. I just bought stone the whole time. It was no, great. No, but in so real games, it. have you done it? No, 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 no. I don't play Abbas unless it's villages only. Abbas trading is actually pretty cool. I can imagine it looks like it could be. I just don't think it's easy to defend, especially at my rank when you where you use select all army. Stop your conqueror. Stop. Your same rank as But <laughs> Conqueror one and Conqueror three are very different worlds. Now I like that both sides come knocking at each other's walls, and this is because Numidon knows this is a ticking time bomb. But again, he's floating a lot of resources, and I don't know if he's cooking something spicy. I feel like if we're gonna see something spicy, it might be. A, I really want Berkshire in the base. I love it, myself a good keep drop. I don't know if Nubadan would pull out the stops like this, but he would need to pull out something crazy to be Wait. able to win this game. Where the fuck are these villagers going? What? They're making a ball. They're trying to make this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good life. I. Of oh, The walls are back up? Now, let me ask you. Did Cat miss his timing? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I am not a fan of camel riders at all. I would he, immediately he go Lancer's there. You just make mass Lancer. Like, even if he was getting harassed, you just go Lancer's, maybe one Camel Rider, two for the debuff. But now? I mean, he's not using his gold. I don't know if I like it anymore. I think Numuchet has it. I'm mm. gonna call it right now. Right now. No. I think uh, Numudan should uh, catch it just by like a lot of wood and make like three, four mangonels and. And then what? Yeah, then he's just gonna mow down uh, Numudan's army. Now these ramps are annoying, and I again I like that we have so many villagers on the other side on this side of the map. It feels like there's something brewing. No, stop. I know that they're just here for gold. I'm feeling it. I don't know. I feel like there's something spicy coming and I'm living for it because this is Numadan. Now, they do try to get a keep up because Cat knows he needs to protect his trade. The thing is, even if he loses a bit, it doesn't matter that much. Numadan uh, getting closer to that required he food. He put the villagers from gold. Oh, uh, and that's... No, stop. That's going to be a keep. That's going to be a keep. That is our first warning sign. No. I've smelled this cheese a mile away. It's five weeks old. The villagers are ready. They want to drop this shit down and they want to stop. <gasps> the first keep goes down. Is the Berkshire next? No, no, no. This is Numenon. His Berkshire <laughs> goes right here or right here. That's that's oh. where it goes. Or like close to the middle in the woodland. That's also... No, no, no. He's going to drop it in farms. Dude, this is Numenon we're talking. He's not wild like that. He's gonna be wild today. Numenon is he keeping it real. Well. He's keeping it real. He's like, you know what? I'm fucking ready for two. I got a fucking pee bucket. I got fucking water. We're staying here till till morning hours if we need to. I've had a few. I've had a few dozen or one hour games against Numenon. Okay. I actually think Ked is dead now. And this is what I said. I called it as an English player. You just know when you can be spicy. And Numadan knew this as well. He knows how to English, he knows how to late game, and he knows how to be spicy. This man is made out of the sauce, and we're receiving the sauce right now. He wants to double down, get a little bit more stone, maybe drop another keep down, so he can get his Berkshire in his base. But he might not need to. I guess it's actually dead. That's crazy. I would like to point out that Thor said this game was over. Yeah, but you so said you. the same. Yeah, I was the only one who believed. Yes. Yeah, I never said. I never said that oh I didn't God. call the game over. I'm just you pointing did. out that four. You did. No, I did, but I'm not saying that I didn't say that it's over. I'm saying that you were wrong. Okay. 
Oh, that's, so, a, that's the ambitious oh, Lumberkin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me chip some wood here, brother. Oh, maybe he wants to. No, no, he wants to drop off stone, I think. Ah. Oh. So he's making a lumber. Okay, yeah, why did you just make a Lumberkin mining camp there? Oh, but he's okay. getting the upgrades as well. Oof. What is he making out of that keep? Nice. Uh, oh my chat. god. This man doesn't stop, and now he has enough stone for another keep. And again, we're getting very close to the Berkshire food requirement. But the Rams are pumping at the front, and I believe, right now, I believe, 24 men at arms. I do not think that Cat has the units to deal with this. Look at this. Wow. Wow, just is that... cinematic mode is I did that. I did that. Wow. We wow. You... <laughs> Hands-free, baby. Look at that. Boom. I trust my English, and my English brother has delivered. The villagers are there, and they are ready to protect this keep with all their might. But instead, he realizes he doesn't need to worry about this. He's got it. I just want to point out. is getting trebuchets. Mareka was right. I was wrong, and more importantly, Cora was oh, wrong. We were all wrong. He got a wound guard palace. The man is cooking. He's cooking all the way to the next dimension. Wow. He's just gonna get us some proper units with some proper defenses wow. and some proper destruction. The villagers do go down. They were no no match for the keep, but the trebuchets, they're spicy. We love them. Where is traders? Oh my um, god. 41 traders. Boom! As, as a wise man once said, or as a wise woman once said, okay. I'm stuck, brother. And that's what the traders were just saying. They're huh? all stuck. All 41 of them are stuck. They cannot reach. Oh, they're going for the last hurrah. Never mind. They realize they're no match for the for the keep. Mm -hmm. The age up has commenced, and this is the one time he can collapse because he knows if he just lets the English get every single thing English gets an imperial, he's a dead man. So he tries to take the shot, but I think this is going to be a very much. It might it might result in some good flavors, but not forever. The right. reinforcements are coming. And new chat. Oh. He's like, let uh, me just uh, get one trip here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, punk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Can give me some gold, please. Need this is some two K gold. And as quickly as they get in, the resources are spent. He's starving right now. He's trying to get units back on this map, but with that target fire from the crossbows as well, those traders don't stand a chance. There's no way to replenish them. There's no way to get the trade back up. The man is dying. Wood is being chopped. Units are being killed. Oh, this Rams is are gonna be minus killed. 800 stone. You think so? Instantly? Is he gonna parry it? Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Villagers are coming. Oh, Tapping. Oh, 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 there's a crossbow blocking. The crossbow blocking. Oh, Move away, yeah. idiot! Oh my. Look this way. Away. There we go, brother. Oh, wait, I'm Zayden. Oh. oh, the guys are coming oh, out. This guy's just ch chilling here. <laughs> okay. I thought he's waiting. Dude, imagine if he puts it and he instantly gets popped. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna target? He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. Oh, he, he has to see it. He sees it. No. He no, he's running. I think you commit there. You just throw it and see what happens. Blasted. Okay, is he making the, uh, what is he making? Wait, not, he didn't make yet. anything out of it. No. Apparently, Wingard footmen are broken. I saw that, like, two days ago. Busted. He got, like, 30 damage per attack, but what the fuck? It's like, my damage. Oh, he's trying, he's trying. Calls it off. He's like, let my villagers throwing? defend. He's just cooking. Late game. <laughs> Cat? Claws his way back. Huh? Do we like that or what? That was beautiful. But now keep in mind a new is inside the economy. And this is this is honestly keep in mind this is also a castle age Numadan. This is not a chunky Numadan with Imperial units. I think you're talking about cat. Oh yeah, that one. Mr. Sorry, actually I got you. On. He got you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Actually. Actually, you're talking about the wrong player, girl. Meow, okay, blue. Meow. Actually, red is imperial, and uh, blue is castle right now. Yeah. Oh, blue score is actually higher, even though he's one age behind that. <laughs> blue is bleeding right now. It doesn't matter what color he is; he's dying. He's 
The steering wheel has come off. The man is suffering, and that lumber camp is the MVP of the game. At this point in the game, I definitely favor uh, Nibudan. Because he's so comfortable playing 16-hour games? No, he... I mean, he, first of all, has more experience playing late games, but also he likes playing late games. I don't think Cat does necessarily, right? I mean, I don't know, uh, but... Cat played a lot, a lot of late, long games. But... Not against, like... Really? Not against you, not, right? Not in your series, but... <laughs> yeah. But in other series, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I remember your series was pretty quick. <laughs> Wow, I actually burned Core and then you know he's quiet. I'm sorry, Core. I didn't yeah. mean to. You know I respect you as a man. Just wait. And a player. Okay, as a player. I'm glad, yeah. Okay, missed. Core, you're... He's gone. He's gone. He's left us. Core, you are... A queen. You're my, you're my queen. You're, you're a queen. our queen. <laughs> Core, are you there? I think Korn is connected. Think, yeah, Korn may have ended. I, I, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Korn may have ended his call with us, but the game is still pumping and Nubadan is cooking, but not with army right now. We're getting Nubadan. a notification for production. Korn is now stuck with explosive diarrhea and will be back as soon as it's over. <laughs> What's funny? That's sad. Oh, really? Is that what's yeah, happening tummy, to Korn? His tummy probably hurts. Okay, I'm sorry, Core. I respect you. Wherever you are. I on told you Cat is going to win this game, and it's on, easy. On whichever toilet you are, this... Oh, he's back. <laughs> are you back, Core? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bully you. It's okay. Okay. Core is very drink tall. Is on you. The next drink the next is on you. Deal. Yeah. But I'm not, I don't know, are you coming to Norway? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's good because I can't afford Norwegian drinks, but I can't afford German drinks. There we go, boy. <laughs> Are you coming I mean, the, to Spain, Cor? I, I thought we were going to... We can go together. as viewers. Yeah. 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 We I can mean, go watch the show match. Yeah. We can <laughs> We can go watch <laughs> Aoi too because we're such big fans. <laughs> yeah, you could actually make a little drama story like the, the Viper's girlfriend did about Aoi 4 like last year. You could do it about Aoi 2 this time. Uh, oh, I'm... yeah, I should just get a little bit more controversial, guys. Sorry. Cause, Cause actually taking that role. Core trying to cause some controversy right now. Wow. Core is but cooking. But I am clean. Cooking. You know what I mean? I'm gonna clean it, dear. I'm completely clean. I Cole am started clean just as... <laughs> I'm clean as fuck. You know what I mean? I know nothing <laughs> about nobody. All right? I, know... I have never heard of Viper. I've never heard of AoE 2. Who I are don't these know people? Who, I don't know this girl AoE too. I don't know any snakes. I know nothing. I don't know any animals except I, I know. <laughs> that guy's amazing. <laughs> Saved Alex. Hell Thank yeah. You. Thank you. So now we can see the power of 2TC. I'm joking. This is not the power of 2TC, guys. This is just the power of these late game chads throwing the game back and forth to one another. Cat would have had this game if not for the wall feature. Thank you for the wall feature, everyone who has in that it intended. But the keep drop brought Numadon back from the dead. Numadon is pumping. He's getting that arrow upgrade. But the thing is, both these players are pumping, and we don't know which way they're going to pump towards. With that siege. Ooh! Oh, is, is, is he sure he's playing English? That looks like a China. <laughs> He's doing a little protection right there. That's the Numadan approach. That's the Numa wolf. <laughs> oh, that's against the spring alts. Oh my god, he's so fucking smart. That's wow. actually a Kovarini, not a springy girl. <laughs> spring alts yeah. is... A sp no, but it's a spring alt protection yeah. as well. Core got you with that one. Oh my Damn. god, I didn't know Blast that Blasted. Blasted. Okay. Spring alts look different, right? They're like the little... The little Kovarins. Okay, little call from big range. Where's like, well, actually, one shoots a ballista and this shoots gunpowder. Oh, so it's not the same. He's German, he knows his history. They're very smart people. Right. Or are you yeah. full German? Yes. Well, what else would he be? You're very troll. For a. Oh, what are you saying? The Germans are serious? 
No, I'm saying he's very troll. Yeah, but that in was general, a, that's you're a saying I think Germans in general are really serious. Uh, They're what? And that's coming from a German, guys. This was not said by the Serbian and the South African. But they are serious, though. I think the Germans are super serious, yeah. You're the least oh. serious German I met. And I don't mean that in like a good or bad way. I just mean like you're, you're very... And it's a uh, matter of fact. Yeah. Facts. Would you conclude and agree with that, or...? I don't know about the Germans you met, but... I think this game is not ending in the next uh, 15 minutes. Core, you're making a lot of calls and I gotta say most of them are wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm the caster, right? That's... Like, you're just, you're, like you're just flinging shit at the wall and every th 10 throws something sticks and you're like, There it is! There it is! I called that! Oh, I, I called actually it. said this like 13 minutes ago, this might happen. I, I said it! I said it! It's like, yeah, you also called this game being over four times and Camel Riders owning everything and then counter gun and... Now, I know Beastie and Core are doing their thing, but I'm gonna explain something to Twitch chat because I think that Twitch chat might not know about this. Twitch chat, English trebuchets are amazing. Why? Because they have splash damage. So these mother fluffers, they're just living their best life splashing on Core, top do you wanna say it? Do you wanna say it? <laughs> they don't have the upgrade yet. <laughs> oh, they don't have the upgrade yet! They are supposed to have splash damage, guys. They do not. I'm sorry. Mr. Actually, yell. thank you for covering that. Actually, <laughs> English trebuchets have splash damage if they research the upgrade for it. Mm, Which actually, they don't. they don't have it, so they actually don't have splash damage. <laughs> that was sad. No! Oh. It's okay, I'll just fling more shit until I get something right, don't worry. And they actually also don't have the, the bonus damage from the traps, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say that, luckily. Thanks. Core's now making <laughs> facts up in his head. Look oh, at that look at... bomb though, he's shooting through the gate. The gate is lifted just so he can poke his snoot through and open up that bad boy ball. This gate looks like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> do, you see, do you see the smoke coming out of Timmy there? <laughs> Wait, stop! Stop! We're gonna move away. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, Numbadon is closing in on the man! The legend! The meow! No attack speed buff actually, that would give him a 40% attack speed boost. Oh, he has uh, some winged units, some oh. some rangers, winged the rangers. Are... <laughs> Bro, their range is like insane. Look at that. Oh, look at those what? fire arrows. I love those. Why don't we have those anymore? <laughs> what is the range oh. of these rangers? Is it eight tiles or seven? Guys, I just want to say I've been I've been casting for eight hours, and wow. I'm non-stop. By the way, okay, I took a. 30 minute break, but I'm getting to the point of insanity, I'm tired, and we still got like five games to go. So, you know what I mean? Well, why don't you guess the game for real? Because I'm tired, okay? And I'm hanging and, and Can we get a little 500 sub bomb, please, to get the no, man away? Chill. Chill. Get some Turkish airline subs coming in. Yeah, we all take the, the Americans, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, why did that... That thing went on fire. That's crazy. Can you check the range on these rangers? What do you think it is, Kor? I think it's seven or eight. Seven. It's nine. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's... That was actually that's a pure actually guess. Lucky. A pure <laughs> guess. <laughs> I got no clue. I don't Wait, even know what... They are... Wait, if they are on Stonewall, they have 11 tiles? Yeah. That is, that is wild. Wild. I am building those for the rest of my life. But now the trade is finally down and Kat has meowed for the last time. The Spring Alts are wow. just walking into the battle. This he's, might be his he's... last meow. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I was really hoping someone else would break the silence. <laughs> His brother, he's, he's getting fed at this, the front door, and the, the place was just not perfect enough to drag him you're to perfect. the ends. You're perfect. Okay. Of this battle. Yeah. You're perfect, my queen. God. She is my queen. 
Guys, this is our very professional cast brought to you by Core and Beastie with the hard hitting game facts of what's key in any matchup. Right now, Numidon just smacking down with all his units, A moving, and not target firing anything. Cat, on the other hand, he's pulling his forces together. He's gonna go for that one last push, praying that a nuclear launch is detected right on top of those units. But he forgets this is not StarCraft. This is Age of Empires. We do not have nukes yet. Core, I'm gonna yeah. ask you a question, and you need to answer. This is like for all the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. What is the highest HP cavalry in the game? Go ahead, oh Core. You have one chance. The highest HP cavalry. If you get this wrong, then I would lower my coaching prices if I were you. Uh, it probably has to be the it's five, four. Three, what is the name? Two. The, the... Not including elephants, okay. Corey, have five actually, seconds. Five. Well, actually, four, elephants are the three, cavalry. So two, I say the, the more elephants. One. Okay, he has no idea. Okay. I think it's the, the Byzantine knight, right? Wrong. It's then the it's Chinese or the Zushi one? The Imperial um. Guard? I actually don't know. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Thanks, that was great. I really enjoyed that. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> when the game gets called, no one takes the game after four hours. <laughs> I forgot oh. that the new suits I'll came be right back. <laughs> okay, so this question, answer to this question was Warrior Monk, but I forgot that the new Sims came out. So when you said Byzantine Knight, I was like, oh yeah, there's new units. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, uh, that was game number... What number was the court? Go ahead. Two. And uh, that was Cat's third W, actually. Third win. And no, his next Numudan opponent... Numudan won, not Cat. What do you mean? Wait, what? Who won? Numudan won. You Th that's what I meant. Numudan beat Cat to prevent his third victory core. Pay attention. Come on. Wake up. Like, I, I know we've been casting too, right? a while, but pay attention. That's what I... Pay attention, Core. So, Cat will not be getting the third victory, and uh, Numeran will be breaking that streak. And now Numeran is starting his own. He's saying, hold up, come back here, you little punk. The next map will be Marshland. Okay. And here it is. Here we go. Oh my god, Louis didn't ban Byzantines, that's crazy. Does Numeran lock that shit in? Louis insta-locked, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Louis might have made a critical error. Do you know what also happened as a marshland core? You what? have woodline up your ass. Remember that? Your woodline's yep. like next to your TC. Yes. And that's really good if you want to make Byzantine farms. But I have to uh, let you alone now. Okay, core, I'm gonna miss you. I don't believe you that, but uh, it is what it is. Um, every player is played. Uh, every every player is paid, so you just gotta admin the last four games. Thank you, Cor. I'll miss you. I miss you too. Thanks, Chad, for host uh, for having me. <laughs> for hosting. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, you guys are Thanks, awesome. Thanks, Chad, for host. Yeah, see, Cor is out of it. Cor, you need some rest, dude. You're, you you yeah. keep hearing what I'm saying wrong, and uh, you know you gotta take a little nap. Shout out to Cor again, guys. If you need coaching. Check out the best coach in the world. Use code BSTQD when you get coaching with Core for 25% off. Is that right, Core? That is uh, not correct, but I still hope you're having a 25%, 30%, you know what, 30%. Thank you. Take Have care. Have a good one. Enjoy. Have a good one, Core. Thank you. What are we going to see from Numidon? Are we going to see another 55 minute game or? No, I think Louis is going to. Well, Louis loves long yeah, games too, actually. Ooh. But Louis is tired. He's in China. I feel like Louis does not want to stay up all night to play against Numidan. <laughs> yeah, it might be the case. We've had some long games today, by the way. I think last time I did this, we finished at 12. We have five more players. I know I said earlier yeah. five more players, but it's five more players. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. emotionally, I'm not ready for that. But sure, let's do it. So, Numidan on Byzantines. 
um, in purple because that's the only color you should be going with Byzantines. It's the best color, tier list color, Byzantines, purple at the top. Right. So thank you very much for Numidan for picking purple. Very beautiful. Now, on the other hand, Louis with Ayubit, a civilization that most people actually see as still viable after yesterday's tournament where many people said many serves aren't viable. So is it Fair viable enough. enough to survive against Numidan? I was like, what tournament was yesterday? <laughs> the one you won, remember? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> um, so Marshland's got these shoreline, a lot of it. Like, I'm I'm actually surprised that neither player picked one of the civ. Usually you pick a civ here when we played it that can have the middle. So like Mongol was really popular, pick here. Because trade is really good. English was really good. English is actually really good because you just go in the middle with, with villagers and if anything comes, like another villager, just kill it. 34 shoreline fish. But neither of them are going for it actually. So there it is. Eight berries, by the way. Wait, what? They all... Wait, they all have... Eight berries? Wait, don't normal it's berries have seven? Tiny berries. No, but the starting berries. There's eight. Wow. I have no idea. I'm not that professional. Normally all six? I know is... Isn't it seven? Okay. There's one missing. <laughs> wow. So Byzantine is actually OP here. And he's got super close berries. So, he's cooking. Now with those berries, you have, you're in this position where you're just gonna have farm, you know, for a while. They're gonna be oiling it up for a while, and then your mass is going to be insane. But my question is now, mm -hmm. if Louis goes past castle, um, okay. is this a thing that he would go on this map, in this matchup? Yes, 100%. Okay, and what does Byzantines respond to that? Just mass units or fast castle themselves as well? What is he gonna make it here? Okay. Uh, he's probably gonna do the the standard Byzantine build, which is uh, the one I have a guide for, actually. And uh, it's just Feudal making... aggression. Yeah, I mean, he's probably just gonna make um, like either limited A and then like longbows, or you could also go javelin thrower, horseman, or you can go longbow horseman, or you know limited A horseman, limited A javelins. Just put some pressure and just age up slowly. And uh, you should be able to put some pressure because their ram is also really good. The chiropractor, very good. Mm -hmm. very, very I mean, your good. units are very mobile as well. So you're going to keep your opponent in their base, even though they're going to have the stronger uh -huh. units as well. Good so I going. think Aeobuds, especially with this map not having a lot of sheep. I, I believe this map has a lack of sheep spawns, right? Because of all the other food sources. Um, How many sheep did Blue get? No, I think it's normal sheep. Oh, oh this my map goodness! Just has a Look at him sheep. Ooh. Yeah. Never mind. I was or gonna say because for... he might struggle. For... Ooh, because he might struggle for food. I thought this might actually be pretty good for Numidon, but with that amount of sheep, you wow. are surviving under castle, and you're making a few units. Oh, he's so scared of that. But there's like this age up is not even done in forty seconds, so he's rushing this with five, which is a bit a bit crazy, but. It is what it is. And it's a lot of idle time. Yeah, like unnecessary. Look, he even notices, but still a bit unnecessary. Um, but yeah, I think he's just gonna play it normal. He's gonna mass units. Uh, yeah, Louis is definitely rushing castle. So that's uh, even. And also, he's got the TC or the gold up his TC basically. Look how much he covers. So that's gonna be pretty nice for him. He might make a production down? building or two, but yeah. Hmm? Well, Numidon's gold is also quite protected. I was gonna say, the gold, it's not completely protected. The problem is, that tower defends the berries, but that gold is wide open. And his second gold, his second gold is quite protected. I didn't see that one at the back of the base. Oh, you'll be fine. I think he's probably gonna go wheelbarrow, double broadaxe. He's forgetting wheelbarrow. He's got no lumber camp yet, which should probably be here. Can be here. And um. The only question is which mercenaries is he gonna go for? Mm. That's the question I got. But against Aeobuds, hmm. Ooh, he I would think Keshex. Hmm. Against Aeobuds, Keshex? Hell no. No, 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 no. Sorry, my brain, my brain farted there for a second. Sorry. All right. 
It was just all gassed up from earlier today when I was playing FPS games. You have fun? Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> all right. Jeez. Very nice. Well, I'm, I'm an Age of Empires lover. Louis is wild. We almost see the second Wait, he skipped scout the coming first in. berry. Mm -hmm. I think you've done good. When no, 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 it's on purpose. Why? It's on purpose because that camel can target the villagers on that first berry, but he cannot target the villagers on the second berry. Okay, that's true. My brain is like too burnt up, I think. It's okay, your wife is I'm like, yo, he now. missed it! <laughs> and now okay. your conk wife is like, actually. Uh, yeah, he's, javelins. he's doing javelins. I mean, javelins make more sense because you go javelins into camel riders, and camel riders oh. are obviously pretty oh, good. Wait. So camel do the camel riders spook other camel riders or is it just horses? No, they also debuff them. Oh my god, so it's like double the camel, double the debuff. I like that. And that's a pretty interesting move considering that Abit is actually a civilization that does make camels. <laughs> like yeah. they're not they're not like Abbasid that has like the the camels but doesn't always make them unless they're playing against night civs. Byzantine's yeah. got the answer. If you need, a, if you got a problem, they got the answer. Okay, this I don't like. The fact that he built berries here and, and mercenary house here, because he why he wants to build blacksmith here for upgrades, so he can turn dialecticus. Mm. Like, I have no idea how Byzantines works. You're like that's not a real name, dialecticus. Um, I'm from South Africa. I just speak uh, French fry and uh, okay. What's the first name called from Byzantine uh, cistern? You can ask me anything about Byzantines, and I know absolutely zero. I just know that they have a wine house, and they have a horse a horse production thing for H2. Mm -hmm. And for Castle, they have a big sister. Hell yeah, sister. Okay, what's, and... the, what's their archer called? Archer. There you go. See, you know something. <laughs> I set up that one for you. <laughs> See? It, oh, you know It depends. Lot. Did they get the archer contract, or did they get the archer archer? Hmm. Right. Oh my god, he's okay. going with the advancement wing. Mm. <gasps> Yo, he's doing the uh, CSO! I Dude. am in love. Louis, you spicy man. This man is gonna cook okay. them up and make some units in the back of his base. Okay. Wait, he's doing the annotate? I've seen CSO do this first. Okay. So this was in... Uh, I watched a tournament recently, and it was CSO versus Wham. And Wham was Byzantine. And I saw... CSO beat Wham's Byzantine. I was like, wait, what the hell happened there? So I opened the game and he did this exact thing. He, it was in Dry Arabia and he proxied barracks behind, went it with advancement, and it just made golems into his base. <laughs> and CSO won. So. But look at that wall. He got a wall on the other side, but he doesn't expect it on that side. He doesn't know, doesn't... literally. Hmm. Pepe left. At least he will know pretty soon. The thing is, I don't think there's anything he can make that Dude. will actually let him survive because his units are all the way in China. Dude, he even cooked them with this. He he chopped berry bushes until they were low because he was like, I'm gonna go eco wing, right? But he never did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. And what oh, upgrades are that? They don't have any upgrades yet because they don't have a blacksmith. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, boys. Bad boys, bad boys. He needs more barracks, though. Okay, he's making more. He needs like four or five barracks for this. You know, oh, yeah, the, yeah. I think this is over already. This the crazy really thing bad. about this is, he, he does need barracks, yes, but he's waiting until he can afford to constantly produce out of them. At that point, he couldn't produce out of three, so he waited. He's so precise about his plays, and that's Louis. Louis is just freaking precise. He does his math perfectly. And just like this, he maths poor Numidon out of this game. He says, I'm not going to be sitting here for 40 minutes while you have your fun. Let me just kill everything. Dude, Louis, I mean, I said Louis likes long games. And he does, let me tell you. He sure does. This time around, I guarantee you he plays against Numidon and you said it's late in China. He's like, oh, fucking cheesy, you little shit. And that's it. <laughs> That's Made it. in China, late in China, wow. Louis is destroying. He's our Chinese champion.
Just like that, he beats Byzantine, and this is the... Oh, not blocked player, almost blocked Louis. I did not want to block him, okay? It was a misclick, and he will be playing. Marika, I want you to... Are you sitting down? I'm sitting down, Alex. Marine Lord is coming next, and I just want to remind you of this. this exchange, guys. If you need some hype for this series, I'm waiting for hit Marine Lord ass. He wants his fucking ass, <laughs> and he is getting it. And Louis said, uh, Marino says, you won't eat my ass? And Louis says, sheesh, you know I do, girl. <laughs> so, they're gonna be jumping in. The map is water holes. And Louis says, one minute to check map. He has no idea what map that is. And that's why we're here. That's why we're here today. Louis is gonna get into the map, host it, and see what the fuck is water holes. <laughs> and that puts that shows us Marine Lord's age. Marine Lord is all knowing, ever knowing, because he's old. He's been playing strategy games. He knows how to check out the maps. He chose this strategically, and he knew that the new kid on the block, Mr. Louis, doesn't have experience on this. Louis just banned Abbasid. I love that. <laughs> I don't know Wait, why. but Marine Lord didn't ban Rus. <laughs> oh wait, but oh no. Room. Oh, I think Louis doesn't know. I think Louis just got baited by the map. Why? What happened? I think this map doesn't have a lot of bounty. And I wanted to be fair and I, and I messaged Louis. Be careful, not a lot of bounty. And he says, KK. KK. Okay. I remember playing bounty. this map and I no. couldn't age up his ruse. Because I guarantee you he checked the map, but you don't check if there's wolves, because most of the maps have wolves. And then you started <laughs> singing your song? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you <yeah. laughs> Yeah, so Marilla knows about water holes. He knows there's not a lot of bounty. He has trauma, he knows his and maps. And yeah, there's 70 bounty, because there's one deer pack on each side. So all you need to do is found, find one of your deer packs, and you're gonna have 70 bounty for the opponent. There's no wolves. So Louis has to mine gold. So anyway, I started my wheelbarrow and then I was like, where, where are the deer, where are the wolves? I couldn't find any. And then I had to cancel wheelbarrow and I had to mine gold so I can age up. And I was like, this is bullshit. And then someone told me there's no wolves on this map. And I was like, why is there a map with no wolves? And to make the things worse, the first deer pack is like right next to your TC. Oh, so there's no way he doesn't get. Oh no! At least there's a ball, Look, right? There's what no wolves. Mm. You have to kill a boar to get tier one bounty. One guy. And that's pretty rough, let me tell you. And also, the uh, trees. The wood are... is so far. Yeah, this this is how it used to be. Did you play back mm. then? I don't think so. I only played later. Yeah, the trees were moved like here, here, and here. So this is one of the OG trauma maps for us. Nice. Mm. Got it. So, uh, BC Cutie, can you introduce this beautiful blue player we see down here? And in the pink, we see Team 8 <laughs> Marine Lords. Introduce the pink player. Huh? I. I are you, are you trolling me or? No, you can go for the loot now. Oh, okay. Are you colorblind, Alex? No, I'm just, I'm <laughs> just goofing. No oh, you were goofing. I just, I just wanted to double check. Yeah, I'm not that out of it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Louis, reigning all the way from China, he's ready to eat Marine Lord's ass. He's been asking whoa, whoa, for it, whoa, whoa. ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. And Marine Lord is not ready for what Louis is about to serve. Because Marine Lord is French and he's a very picky eater. At advance, sure. he's he always eats French vehemently. Fries. <laughs> he's vehemently <laughs> against the bread from not France. So I don't know if he's gonna like what Louis is serving. And Louis is serving a very nice water map. So let's see what Louis is cooking for us. I just don't know if I. The Rus is great on water, right? But Japanese doesn't need as much on water before they start aging up, mm -hmm. so they can actually put a little bit more pressure on that age up initially as well. And they can age up a little bit faster, can't they? 
Um, well, if they put more villagers on it, for sure. But, oh, you mean in general? Yeah, uh, in general. Yeah, because their ships are cheaper, so you need, like, yeah. so you can only use five on um, wood to age up. But, um, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I wanted to point out, like, now, Louis, in a normal world, we would have we'll Louis see, keep yeah. going on wood to be able to make fishing ships, but he makes two and he calls it and he goes straight for castle. Oh, I'm castle. Gonna, I'm feudal. I'm, I'm gonna yeah? have to. I don't usually, I usually let stuff slide, but... Um, yeah. Rus is played like this. This is the Rus build. This is why Rus really? is broken at high level. Yeah, this is the build. It's enough. You chop oh two trees God. and you send everything on food. So these three in gold should be all on yeah. food. And this is why Rus is broken. So you oh said Japanese God. ages up a bit faster, right? Yeah, no, they don't. Look at Louis age up. And this oh, is on shit map God. with, you know, with no bounty. Imagine if this was a different map, and he also had wheelbarrow. That's that's Rus, and that's why it's uh, OP as fuck. So Marine Lord is not making a lot of fishing ships because there's no point. He knows he's about to get fucked by this boat, so he's just making four, and he's gonna age up. Probably gonna do like cute micro, and then gonna try to fight on the water. And one thing that's good for Louis, by the way, is mm -hmm. neither player saw where the other so dock is, but it's very good for Louis that he found the the Japanese fishing. Because he can transform immediately, and you can see he's already... He's gonna put this to fish here, and then he's gonna oh immediately transform. And look at Marine Lord's rushing the age up, and Louis That's both with me. eight. The thing is, you do need wood for that transformation. How much wood do you need? It's super, it's like 25, I think. I was gonna say, because he, yeah, he's getting that last bit of wood on next to his TC to try and get this ready. So he's gonna be ready at the right time, and Marine Lord is gonna have to chop a bit more. And he's making a lumber mill, a lumber camp now. He needs, yeah. he needs to get more wood for his first ship. So even though he's going to get his Cocker Township out, he's not going to be able to make that... Oh, I say that. And he is about to get just enough. <gasps> That's not enough. That's not enough. Oh, what do you mean? No, for Marine Lord. For Marine Lord. Yeah, but he doesn't have enough wood. Yeah, yeah, but I know, but he's... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I got too excited. <gasps> okay, now he's going to have enough. Okay. He's done I got very excited. Yeah, you can see he's already putting fishing ships. So one is either going to run or he's going to keep them here in Micro. So we'll see which one he goes for. Goes for the villager I first. Then he goes for the villager. That's you have to get rid of the villager. Because the villager there will just, you know, keep You can things actually alive. block this, by the way. One thing about Bruce fishing ships, you can completely block. Yeah, see that? He goes in and this might get actually blocked instead. Look, 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 look. He's cooking him. Okay. And already, this might not seem like a big deal, because it's like, oh, well, he just garrisoned. Uh, but that's the, the kind of strength of, of Rus. And now he is not fishing. He's going to fish in a second, but Louis is now going to start making fishing ships. And Rus has 20% extra wood drop-off, and usually has wheelbarrow here, too. So, uh, <clears throat> that's why so Rus is so saying. strong, but uh, not in this one. So what you're saying is, I really need to learn to play Rus on water, because this is Oh yeah, it's the I best it. by far, and uh oh, this is a big problem. Big problem, big problem. That's not fast and enough. He... Oh, oh no. god. That and he is gets bad. it just in time. That is bad. The villager Village will go down to... Ooh, He's targeting yeah. to repair? Uh oh, not today, brother. Yeah, that is a really, really good play by Marine Lord. Just getting it out in time, but... Louis, I feel like Louis should be able to transition out of this. Marino does go for the second water though, and Louis hasn't sent a villager. Has Louis is Louis building a dock there or no, a second lake or not? No, no, no. He's... Oh yeah, he has. Wait, he's making yeah, okay. a boat. Okay, that's that's maybe a bit crazy actually. <laughs> well, you can't just call people crazy. Wait, he's. Oh. Wait, how does he have wood? Okay, he has wood to make two docks and to make another attack ship. And, well, his uh... dock was idle for a while, so. Right. I mean, they have same ships, except Louis has an extra dock. I mean, that's the 20%, right? Um, the good thing for Marine Lord is he got double broad axe. Yep, it doesn't show, but he got it. And no fishing! The oof, incendiary ship is out, though. But Marine Lord is a god with micro. Unfortunately for him, Louis is a god at firing. And Marino's fire will not be reaching those shippies anytime soon. However, on the other side of the lakes, we do see some extra spicy players coming in. Marino trying to pull back to just get a good position on this incendiary ship. He does come for it, but I don't think it will connect. Oh. 
pulls it back, he knows. Don't use this, this thing is, just yet. This is really, really bad from Ringler, I think. It, especially so going with Cocker Township, you don't have that safe food transition afterwards. I know you're supposed to go this on water, but that was the that's a really big part of Japanese. They have this easy food that fo follows after, and he just doesn't have that right now. He's gonna have to go. If his fishing gets stopped, he's in a lot of trouble. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, he went for another um, shinobi. He was gonna disable the dock, and that's cool. But um, Louis actually lost the airship. <clears throat> but wait, did he lose the airship? He did, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, he transported he it. Transformed it. Oh, did he? Yeah, he could have transformed it. Yeah, okay, so not... He killed... Okay, yeah, he, he did not lose it. He transformed it into a attack ship, which is kind of interesting. He's gonna go for another Lodia ship. And uh, he has a little fishing ship here. There's some fishing from Marino. No um, arrow slits on the docks, which he can make now. But I think this might be forfeit. Like, three... This this explosive junk is useless, by the way. Like, this should never land. If it lands, Louis, like, fucked up big time. And there's nothing else going on the map for him to fuck up. Like, there's no fighting anywhere. And he should really, really pressure this. Because if he doesn't and the arrow slits come, then it becomes really annoying to deal with this. He does, luckily for Louis, there is... Oh, I, I was gonna say, actually, it's luckily for Marine Lord. That, that Shinobi it is only fighting one dock. There's no second dock from Louis to try and contest this. But that fishing boat... Is trying to transform, but he's just not going to make it. He's trying to get inside the dock, but I, I don't know why he can't. Maybe because mid transform. Yeah, we actually discussed how this works earlier. I'm not sure. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, is Marine it. Lord a god? Marine that's Lord's it. a god. Wow. Is Wait. it? Oh my god. I think wow. that's literally just. Unless he gets an equally big shot, that might be GG right there. That was a triple hulk sprinkle shot. He's trying to fish for that demo. He's cooking it. Oh, Flu is on fire. But not oh. in a good way. Okay. Oh, look at that micro, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <gasps> There's just so much going on. It's so confusing. Oh, it's he's trying to snipe it. He's trying to snipe it. Oh, my God. No, just one. That doesn't even get the full shot, actually. That was pretty sad. Attack ship on this side is up. This dock is, or this ship is forever immortalized right there. Dock Aww. is dead. Oh, no. Okay, dead. It's just burning. It's on five. Unlike Louis' game here. Oh, he's just trying to snipe oh. that arrow ship. And he, he just can't. Repair, 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 repair this one. Repair this one, repair this one. Ay, not in time. Oh, wow. Marinot is not gonna let that ship. Oh, I say he's not gonna let that ship land, but he does. He says, hey, you may have. Ooh, that doesn't do enough damage at all. So, you Apparently, know what the, ship, so you know what the funny part about Roost ships is? You know why it's not dealing full damage? Why? Because the damage counts from the middle of the ship, from the center. And because Roost oh. ships are bigger, you actually need to be like inside of the ship the enemy mm. ship to actually do full damage so that's why his ships are doing like crap damage when they hit because they're not mm. actually super close to it. they're pretty far even though it looks like that yeah, it doesn't look like Luby is transitioning behind this either he's just floating his wood he's desperate at this point i don't think he has a plan b here the man is cooked the villagers are idle wow i think he had a big chance when it was like three sprinkled ships versus one arrow ship Marine Lord, I think, had two sprinkled, one arrow, and a demo, but Louis never pushed. He kind of went back to heal up a little bit. Just kind of, I mean, that one demo ship literally ended the game. Unfortunate. And Louis' one streak gets broken immediately. The ass goes uneaten. True. He did try, <laughs> but not very successfully. Let's just say that. Now, what I'm liking about our next map pick is African Waters Ooh. for Anutan versus Marine Lord.